from Delaware's most award-winning radio news team, this is WDEL Video News. Here's Chris Carl. Among Delaware's top stories from Monday, June 25th, a Newark man is charged with attempted murder after police say he shot a woman and took hostages last night. Police say Clarence Love shot Jennifer Smith in a home on East Marlboro Township, Chester County at about 9.30 last night. They say he then held her and her eight-year-old child hostage. Police say he threatened to kill the hostages, police, and himself. Officers negotiated with Love by telephone and talked him into surrendering just after midnight. The woman was taken to Crozier Hospital. Her injuries aren't believed to be life-threatening. The child wasn't hurt. Love also faces burglary, assault, and reckless endangering counts. Wilmington police are asking for your help in tracking down a man who opened fire early yesterday morning, putting four teens in the hospital. Officers found the victims around 1.45 a.m. on West 4th Street. All the victims were admitted to Christiana Hospital, where a 17-year-old girl who was shot in the stomach is in stable condition. The other three victims are in good condition. State police have charged an off-duty Wilmington cop with domestic violence. Paul Seiber is accused of threatening to ram his car into his garage during an argument with his wife early yesterday. His two kids were inside the home at the time. He also allegedly tried to prevent his wife from calling 911. Cyber is out on bail, charged with reckless endangering, offensive touching, and endangering the welfare of a child. A registered sex offender facing new charges. WDEL News continues in a moment. Oh. Is everything okay, ma'am? Not really. I need to ride dark tomorrow to get to work, and I forgot to buy my dark cart. I guess I have to find a ride. Well, you certainly come to the right place. Didn't you know that Acme Now sells dark cards and paratransit multi-trip cards? Now where? They're available at our customer service desk. Getting you there now starts at your 12 Delaware neighborhood Acme markets. Dart and Acme have joined in partnership to be your one-stop shopping place for both groceries and dark cards. It's now easier and more convenient than ever to pick up your dark cards with Acme. A Tier 2 sex offender is back in jail after allegedly having sex with a 15-year-old girl. Police were called to the Arundel neighborhood Saturday night when, where they found a woman whose daughter was threatening suicide if her mother reported a consensual sexual relationship the daughter was in with a man. Police determined the man was 22-year-old Christopher Moore of Wilmington. He's, he was released from prison for an unrelated crime just last Monday and first met the girl on Wednesday. Moore has been arrested and charged with seven counts of fourth-degree rape. An 18-year-old Wilmington man is behind bars, charged with pointing a shotgun at another man during an argument. State police said it happened in the parking lot of the 7-Eleven store on Limestone Road Sunday morning. Eduardo Bermudez is accused of aiming the gun at an off-duty trooper. Bermudez ran off, but he and the shotgun were found at the Woodlawn Apartments a short time later. Well, the Phils had to beat Mother Nature before beating the Cards. WDEL Sports and your Delaware. Back you with a forecast coming up. As you look for your college experience, make sure you look at Wilmington College, your key to success. I'm Melanie Armstrong, and here are Delaware's top stories at the top of the hour. The most complete coverage of the news that matters in Delaware, every weekday morning, 5.30 to 9, on 1150 AM WDEL. In WDEL Sports, in a game marked with multiple rain delays, Shane Victorino's base is loaded, pinch hit double with two outs in the eighth, broke a 1-1 tie, and lifted the Phillies to a 5-1 win over the St. Louis Cardinals. Victorino sick cleared the bases to give reliever Brian Sanchez his first major league win. The Phils are off today before starting a homestand tomorrow against Cincinnati. Well, the Blue Rocks kept their record perfect in the second half of the season with a 4-3 win over Winston-Salem. Rainer Oliveros gave up a pair of runs in the ninth, but picked up his first save for the Blue Rocks as they raised their record to 4-0 in the second half. That series continues tonight in Winston-Salem. Your WDEL Delaware Act with a forecast. Cloudy throughout today, a few showers and a thunderstorm around high 84. Tonight, partly cloudy, low 68. Tomorrow and Wednesday, hazy, hot, and humid. Chance of an afternoon thunderstorm. Both days, highs around 94. 
Get news updates throughout the day. Delaware's top stories at the top of the hour on 11.50 a.m. WDEL or anytime right here at WDEL.com. Including news video from Delaware and around the world from WDEL and the Associated Press. I'm Chris Carl. Thanks for watching.